Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm here with a box opening. Very exciting. I'm gonna do a quick little story time. So feel free to just double tap right on through this if that kind of stuff bores you to tears. Cause I know if it, if it were me in your position, you know, I'm usually just here for the dolls. <laughs> so I like to fast forward through that part and just, just see what I'm looking for. But if you wanna listen to this little story, how this baby got to me was uh, super fun. <laughs> so everything looked like it was on track and it was like expected delivery on Monday. And you know, it's like five o'clock, six o'clock. I'm like, well, that's a lie. <laughs> like, There's no way it's coming today. Lo and behold, it, you know, it doesn't. And I'm like, sure, whatever. Like, that's fine. It's delayed a day, whatever. But I wake up this morning and there's a big scary red explanation point on my um, EUSPS app. <laughs> Cause I like, you know, I have the app and I track the things that are coming to my house. So um, there's a big red <laughs> explanation point and I was like, all right, well that means nothing good. So I click on it and this package wasn't actually delivered to my post office. It was delivered to a town like, like three towns over. And I was like, that's weird. But then the message was like, this package is being forwarded and the, and the zip code isn't right. And I was like, oh my gosh, like where's this package going? And I only live like two minutes from my like local post office. So I just popped over there and I was like, hey, like, where is this package being delivered? Is it actually coming to my house? And they were like, oh yeah, don't worry. Like this sometimes happens. I don't know why they're giving you an alert over it. Cause it's like not a big deal. But they, they were kind enough and they called the other post office for me and they were like, well, the package like isn't on the truck yet. If you want to like go and snag it, you will you don't have to wait an extra day. And I was like, heck yes, I want to go pick it up. I'd way rather drive 20 minutes uh, rather than wait an extra like, you know, one or two days. <laughs> so that's a very roundabout way of saying I got this baby technically a day late, but in other ways a day early. So <laughs> I'm very excited especially when you guys see who it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dig right on in. Okay. Oh, look at this. Right off the bat, there's a little lovey with a little unicorn. That's so cute. <laughs> Super soft. Okay, and then there's a package and another package that I'll set aside and I'll grab my boppy. Oh my gosh, she's so little. So heavy, oh my gosh. All right, there's other little things in here. Let me grab this so that you guys don't accidentally see a picture. <laughs> okay, ooh, those look really pretty. I'm getting little sneak peeks here and there. I think it's just paper on the bottom protecting it. I don't think there's anything else. Yep, just paper, cool. All right, let me move this. Oh, she's so heavy. All right. And then I have this new blanket that I got off Etsy and I've been saving it just for this baby. I think it's so pretty. It's got these little deer and fox, like all these woodland creatures and owls and stuff. All right. Hopefully I've got her going the right way. Look at this blanket, it's so fuzzy. All right, let me take her out with the plastic. All right, I guess I'll do the presents first. I've got, I've got some patience. <laughs> all right, so first of all, we've got this really cute, it's like in this fabric storage bag with like um, flowers on it. This adorable little pacifier. Super cute. It's light pink with dark pink. That's lovely. And then it looks like some matting powder in here. Oh, and then I guess I, guess I just gave it away, but this is a silicone, so yes, I'm super excited. Um, I sold one of my other silicones, but I have been dying, absolutely dying to see this baby. Um, so. I'm, I literally feel like a child when I open these. I just kind of like rip into them. I never want to, but I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is lovely. 
It's Carter's newborn size. It's a really super light pink with like these kind of wooden buttons, just a top and matching pants. Super cute. Oh, I love that. I'm really into like the really, really light pinks. Nothing too like flashy. <laughs> and then here, I love this tape. Okay, looks like a little gown. It's Carter's preemie size. I guess that makes sense because she's not super long. I mean, she's a really good weight. She has a good weight to her, but she's seems pretty, pretty little. She's like a small newborn size. So there's that. And then her love you. Another present. See if I can get this without ripping too much of it. Ooh, this is super pretty. I love white on babies. That's like my weakness. <laughs> okay, so there's these little scratch mittens and then um, a little onesie with an elephant. Oh, that is precious. <laughs> And then the brand looks really fancy. Um, Rockabye Baby Boutique. Very fancy. And then there's a matching, um, oh my gosh! <laughs> there's a matching sleeper. I love this. This is gorgeous. And then there's a bib too. It's like the whole set and a hat, wow. So there's a hat and a bib. It says, hello, little one with another elephant. That's really cute. Super sweet. I love that. I love white on babies. Okay. I'm going to set these aside. And then there's also her artist um, birth certificate and the COA over here, which I'll save until after. After I open her. Okay. So I'll set the clothing aside. Let's just get right down to it. It says, important information, please support my head at all times to prevent any silicone tears. And don't ever stretch the mouth to prevent any tears. And I need lots of cuddles. <laughs> and trust me, she will be getting them because this baby is gorgeous. I first saw the sculpt. I'll tell you who it is in a few seconds after I open her. But I first saw this baby in clay almost exactly a year ago. The artist posted her like right around Thanksgiving, or not Thanksgiving, right around, um... Halloween and I was like I need that <laughs> baby so I kind of just waited it out I mean I did contact the artist or I mean the sculptor and I asked for videos just to see the difference between the super soft blend and um, the regular um, but then I just kind of waited it out because I wanted to see all the different versions and when I saw this one I thought a long time about getting um, the boy version of this sculpt because it's a portrait baby and the baby um, who he was like, who this baby was um, sculpted after was a boy. So in my head I was like, oh I want a boy too, like I kind of saw a boy for a long time and then I saw this artist version and all of a sudden I was like, this is totally a girl, like I, I like switched in my mind, I was like I totally see girl now. So. Yeah, I do have a girl version. I don't know if you can see my little cat, but she's starting to <laughs> she's starting to sniff around. She's like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> so yeah, I'm very excited to see her in person. So let's get to it. Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh, she's gorgeous. So pretty. Oh, I can't wait to feel her silicone. All right, here we go. Ooh, wow, she's super soft. She's matted really well. She's got teeny tiny little hands. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh wow, she's very soft, very soft. Oh, I can't wait to see the rest of her. This outfit is gorgeous. She, um, her artist did a video um, of like all these new sculpts that she's starting to get in. And my doll was in the background the whole time wearing this outfit, and I was just admiring it. And some of her artist photos, she was wearing this too. So I guess I'll take this off. Oh wow, she's so pretty. Her nails are really well done. I 
take this off. Very pretty. I guess let's do her face first, not just strip her down immediately. Okay. And get this off. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. Ready? <laughs> let's just go for it. One, two, three. Oh, hey there, pretty girl. Oh my gosh, she's precious. Oh, she's so cute. I can't. Oh, she's so pretty. I can't wait to see her hair, too. Okay, so if you guys don't recognize um, the sculpt, this is uh, Mateo. Watch out, Penny. That's <laughs> my, little, my little cat. Um, this is the Mateo sculpt by uh, Jennifer Costello. And she was painted by a Canadian artist, um, Joanna Langman, I believe is her last name, but I'll, I'll grab her, her paperwork actually so y'all can see. Um, her name on Instagram is um, Enchanted Art Dolls, I want to say, and then on Facebook she's Her Enchanted Art and Silicone Dolls, I think. But here's her information. She's a lovely, lovely birth certificate. So she's 6 pounds, 12 ounces, 18 inches long, and she's number 26. And then there's a certificate of authenticity. And then her um, sculptor, Jennifer Costello, if you guys follow her, she's at uh, Jen's o uh, One of a Kinds, like O O A K S on Instagram. So she's number 26. She's made in July. This baby has actually been done for a while and. Um, and I bought her on layaway, so. When I saw her artist photos, I was just like, yep, yep, that's the one. <laughs> like, you know how it is sometimes, like, you know you want a sculpt, but you have to, like, wait and see all the different versions. And I kept waiting and waiting, and I knew I loved the sculpt, but and, and none of them were, like, quite speaking to me. But then I saw her, and I was like, oh, yes, that's it. Like, not even a question. I just contacted her, and I think I, like, I bought her within, like, 20 minutes. That's just the way it goes sometimes. So I'm going to take off this beautiful little bonnet, because I'm really curious to see her hair. Oh, my gosh. Precious. She's super cute. It's a really nice blend. It's like she's got some light browns, some darker browns, a little bit of blonde in there, too. She's so lovely. Oh, she's really cute. Let's see if I can get her up closer to the camera here. Oh my goodness. Heavy girl, heavy girl. See, there she is. Look how cute. And then of course I'll do a details video and get her hair brushed a little bit. <laughs> but I guess let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of her. Oh my goodness, here I'm gonna take her off camera for a second. Yeah, she's definitely got a good weight to her. She's good size. I'm gonna struggle with this button for a minute, guys. Look at your crazy hair. <laughs> okay. I'll put her back down, kinda undress her here so we can take a look. I don't wanna... There we go. Oh, she's so sweet. I love this scratch on her chest. When silicones have little details like that, I think it just really adds to their realism. Let me take off the rest of this sleeve. Oh, she's lovely. She's very, really nice coloring. Okay, there we go. And then I won't take off her diaper, but... But I think this gives you a pretty good look at her. Oh, she's so cute. I can't get over that face. She is precious. Oh, hi, baby girl. 
All right. Well, there you have it, little Miss Mateo. And then I think I'm not 100% settled on a name, but I'm like pretty close. So I'll do a details video and, and tell you all her name. I love these little pudgy, pudgy little hands that she has. She's lovely. She's got really nice veining. I can't wait to do a details video and kind of show you guys up close. So pretty. Okay. Well, I'll let you guys go. I'm not even like really talking. I'm just kind of, just kind of staring at her here, but, but yeah, I'll be back with another video. So I hope you all have enjoyed seeing this little one and we'll be back soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.